guardians, citizens, and elixir. To those who can hear this broadcast, please see it through. Risk, danger, and tension are on the rise in the last city, and if we do not try to work together, the city will collapse from the inside out. Welcome everyone to another Vanguard Report, Kaz PhD here. For those of you who are new, I am a guardian, and have been transmitting on this channel for some time, trying to bring some sense of order and understanding to the wide universe of our destiny. Today's broadcast will recap what has happened this week, providing as much perspective as possible, and aims to not only catch you up, but help you prepare for the days to come. As always, short notes have been embedded in the broadcast if you wish to take the info and go. A few days ago, the sun did not rise on our last city. Or at least, that's how it looks. A Vex simulation of unknown design and origin has blanketed our city, our tower, and cast all under the Traveler in perpetual darkness. Radio transmissions in and out have been garbled, scrambled, and I don't even know if you're seeing this. I hope you are. Despite all we know about the Vex, and all that Osiris has learned from his time within the Infinite Forest, the Vanguard was at a loss as to how to deal with this situation. In a stroke of inspired genius, some would say insanity, they turned to Mithrax, an Elixni, for help. Say what you will about the Elixni, but they do know their way around technology. They call the Traveler the Great Machine, and the pursuit and mastery of technology has been a common part of their history and culture. I admit that I had never thought to use that knowledge against the Vex. It's an interesting move. Mithrax. It has been a long time. We first met on Titan, while I was running operations for Commander Sloan, looking for Golden Age tech, a CPU actually, to help decipher Cabal transmissions. There, deep in the Arcology, I ran across a fallen captain who, well, was acting strangely. He was hesitant to attack. He ran when captains would normally fight. He trapped me, but didn't press the advantage. When I caught up with him and killed the Hive Knight he was fighting, Mithrax bowed to me and left. Fast forward much later when I found a fallen transponder and Titan. My ghost helped me decrypt some of the message, which eventually led me to the farm. There, Mithrax was hiding out and told me of a threat to the tower. Well, the old tower. See, Fallen, under the House of Devils, led by Aramis, actually, had learned that our Cryptarchs had secreted away the Outbreak Prime, a weapon powered by Siva, which I had thought lost when the Cabal attacked. Sure enough, Aramis's crew were trying to sneak into the old tower and steal the Siva for themselves. Mithrax's info had allowed us to organize a strike team and stop that from happening. Over the next few months, I ran hundreds of teams through the vents, pipes, and outer walls of the city to keep that place safe and secure. And then, he left. Ever since, I have begun to have a different view of the Fallen. From the very first moment I was resurrected, the Fallen have pursued me. They always shot first and never hesitated to try to take me out. I am sure you all feel something similar. The Fallen have long been our enemy. The battles of Twilight Gap and Six Fronts, though long ago, are well remembered. As a Titan, the very symbol of my order represents four groups of Titans defending the city along Six Fronts. Hate of the Fallen has gone beyond active loathing. It has been embedded in our history, our culture, and lives on to this day. But Mithrax showed me something different. Time and again, we have seen the Fallen unite under some house, some banner, some cause, usually to our detriment. Skolas, Tanix, the Kel Scourge. On Europa, Aramis resurfaced and tried to use the darkness itself to unite the Fallen against us. Her house salvation still roams the icy moon of Jupiter, and if they had the chance, they would invade the city just as the Vex seemed to have done. I was there. Maybe you were too. Many Guardians assisted Varix to push back the threat of House Salvation, and we were even successful in evacuating some Fallen who did not want to choose her side. We sent them to Mithrax, actually, now called the Kel of the House of Light. And now, they're in our city, in our tower. 
It happened so fast. One moment the sun failed to rise over our fair city. The next, the fallen, no, Elixni, were being set up in the Bolsa district on the outskirts of the city. To my surprise, that wasn't all. Elixni now walked quite freely in the tower, all wearing name tags denoting them as temporary visitors. As expected, not everyone is overjoyed at this development. Tensions are high. People are calling out for an explanation, for transparency, and there is unrest over this choice. Lakshmi too, leader of the future war cult and member of the city consensus, has been quite vocal. You may have heard her radio broadcast. She is highly suspicious of the Elixni, and while I appreciate her concern, I wonder where her tone will lead. See, I've been worried about the city, the vanguard, and humanity for a long time. Like most guardians, I don't spend much time in the city. We are normally assigned to patrol deeper and more dangerous territory, and I don't really get back to the city as much as I would like. The trips I have taken have shown me that holing ourselves up under the Traveler is both good and bad for our people. Keeping everyone together in a unified position is good for defense, but also makes us a target, a shiny jewel among the darkness, a city ringed in spears, so to speak. However, one downside that becomes very clear is how isolated and sometimes narrow of perspective the city can be and feel. Citizens, I am not judging you here. I am simply saying that you have not had the same dealings as I have. The reverse is also true. High up in the tower, running reports to the vanguard, I have never personally lost touch with who and what I was defending, but I admit, I am removed from your every day, from your strife. I spend so much time fighting monsters on the edge of space that I sometimes forget about the troubles at home. However, I know many of you have not felt safe for a long time. The Red War, the Almighty, and now the Vex. The last city doesn't always feel well protected. On top of that, guardians who have worked more closely with the Elixni, who have seen nuance, seen Elixni who wish for change, who are even pacifists, these guardians who may be more willing to make allies, well, we don't make you feel safe, do we? The Vanguard's decision was rushed. Sometimes we have to move quickly. Sometimes, when faced with destruction, we have to make choices which have immediate consequence. The ends cannot justify the means, but sometimes good ideas, when rushed, leave some behind. Or worse. Lakshmi's concern is well-founded. The Elixni have long been enemies of our people. Many of them who are now in our city see themselves as the victims, having lost their great machine and have only been pursuing it to rebuild. However, the truth, the whole truth, is bigger than that. The Fallen have long been humanity's enemy. They came to our world, they fought many battles on many fronts, and led some of the most dangerous and disastrous sieges on our city. In the time of war, the Fallen have done horrible things to us. Besides the environmental damage of the collapse, and what damage we did to ourselves, the Fallen helped decimate us. They have long been monsters to our people. This much is true. However, consider, for a moment, how we must appear to many of them. While most Elixni I have met were warriors, from Dreg to Kel, not all of them are. Mithrax is protecting young Elixni, old, and even babies. I am seeing a different side to them. Horrifying in war, yes, but also not just an army, but a people. And some of these people see us, or at least the Guardians, as monsters. Nearly unkillable, skilled and tireless in combat, Guardians must be terrifying. Warlords, some of the first to be graced with the Traveler's power, scared and subjugated our own people. I mean, come on, you've met Hunters. You've met those fresh from a Trials match? Guardians can be pretty scary. Is it so much of a stretch to think that we too look like monsters? I know, I know, I can hear some of you. That's all fine and good, Kaz, but we're not speaking in general. We were just defending ourselves. I get it. I do. 
The move to bring Elixney into the city was a big one, and happened much faster than I anticipated. The choice to bring them into the tower is an even bigger move. When I expressed my concern to Ikora, she had some advice. That it wasn't pain that helped us learn, but risk. To take chances and have the strength to follow them through. If the darkness truly wants us to fall apart, coming together is the best way forward. I mean, we formed an armistice with the Cabal not long ago, a move that has been relatively well received. Still, to everyone hearing this broadcast, I warn you, and implore you, tensions are going to keep rising. While I personally agree with the Vanguard's decision, it's called a consensus for a reason. The Vanguard needs to be aware of and incorporate the decisions and perspectives of other city leaders when making its decisions. To the factions, I understand that you all have different approaches, but ultimately, we must all have the same goal, the protection and support of the people of the last city. These Elixni carry with them a troubled history, but they themselves have not brought us harm. I am not saying we need to trust them right away and let our guard down. But if you never give them a chance, they will always be our enemy, and any chance of making an ally will disappear. We are stronger together, and we are facing threats every day, bigger than most of you know. I do not wish to scare the average citizen coming across this broadcast, but let's just say that we can use all the help we can get. We should be patient, wait, and see. And that brings my broadcast to a close. What do you think? Should we ally with these Elixni, or is it too dangerous? What do you think of these events so far? Remember to keep your ghosts and radios tuned to this frequency so you can catch my next broadcast. As always, Guardians, Citizens, I wish that you be safe, be kind, and I'll see you all next time. Bye now.